guys? Sarge Party here, back with another video. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about an e-liquid, and we're going to be taking a quick look at the IPv4, which I'm excited about. I just got it about an hour ago. It's going to be just a quick first impressions video. We're not going to dive down. We're not going to go into a whole lot with it. I'm just going to kind of give you my thoughts so far. But before I get into that, I want to go ahead and apologize to you guys. I know it's been a little bit over a week since I put out a video and I've, I've been somewhat busy and I actually recorded a 30 minute vlog, but I just wasn't happy with the content. And the one thing that I can promise you guys is I'm not going to put out a video that I'm not happy with. And I feel like there's just some more work that needs to be done. I'm not a perfectionist, but I feel as if I can improve. So. The vlog is on hold as of right now, and so today we're going to be just diving down and looking at an e-liquid, just a quick review, and I'm also experimenting, guys. I've, I've moved from using an iPhone 4S to an iPad Air 2, so I hope you guys enjoy the quality a little bit better. I'm kind of working with some new angles. I hope it's a little bit better for you guys. I'm always trying to improve, and like I've said before, this is new to me but I'm trying to make my videos better each time I put one out. So, this weekend I had an opportunity to go to a vape shop that I don't normally get to go to. It's about 40 miles from my house, but I just happened to be in the area and I decided to stop in and pick up some juice. One of the juices that I got this weekend is called The Milkman comes in this cool little carton that looks like a milk carton. It's got your missing person description. And here's the bottle itself. And this is actually a plastic bottle, which is kind of cool, kind of different. And it's to be expected because the Milkman is made from the creators of the Vaping Rabbit out of Los Angeles, California. They're always known for... They're really cool packaging, nice labels. They got the wax going on their bottles. Really cool packaging. But who cares about the packaging if the e-liquid's not any good? But this e-liquid is very good. And what I like to do with e-juice is I like to give you the official description. And then I'll kind of give you my take. So basically, this e-liquid is described from the creators as a toasted fruit strudel with a scoop of vanilla bean ice cream with an added milky milkshake type flavor. So what I really get with this juice is I get an ever changing juice. If you've ever tried any of the vaping rabbits e-liquids, you know it's, it's, it's a kind of juice that really sticks around. After you exhale it, it's staying on your tongue, it's staying in your mouth, which I kind of like that. If you're looking for more of a muted e-juice, this probably wouldn't be the way to go for you. I feel as if Vaping Rabbit has mastered the art of the high VG flavorful e-liquids. But mainly what I get from it is I get kind of a strawberry, milky type flavor on the inhale, and I get a custardy, desserty, cereally, um, almost a milkshake, sweet type flavor on the exhale. Now, not to mention that this e-juice produces an immense amount of vapor. The vapor production is top notch, and I would give the flavor probably a 9 out of 10, but it is an acquired taste. This wasn't an e-juice right out of the bottle that I was just really wild about. It took me dripping it for a little bit to really appreciate the flavors. And I will tell you, you're gonna get different flavors at different times with this e-juice. It's also a really nice thick juice. Now, it's not your typical motor oil VG though. In fact, let me just drip a little bit. It's got some thickness to it, but it's not just long, long drops coming off. It's still got a little bit of a thinner side. And for 99% VG, it's actually pretty nice how, how well it's balanced as far as the viscosity. I really like the throat hit on this juice. It, it's a, I would describe it as a low 
to medium bodied throat hit you can definitely feel somewhat of a throat hit but it's it's pretty smooth and mellow and that's somewhat to be expected with a really high VG juice let's give her a quick vape and see if I get any other flavors coming at me and see if I can do a live description of what I'm tasting so I am using the Pioneer for you IPv4 which we're going to talk a little bit more about in a minute I have my authentic Dark Horse RDA on here and I have her dialed in at 85 watts 3.56 volts and the atomizer resistance is at 0.15 ohms fully charged batteries Mm. nice and creamy super super milky as you can see vapor production is outstanding for 85 watts i'm really i really have a strawberry taste that kind of is is melting in my mouth it's just a very very smooth smooth vape from the throat hit to the flavor it's just smooth it's milky it's the milkman kind of wrap up the milkman i really like the packaging i really like the thoughtfulness and and the plastic bottle is kind of a nice change of pace i will say that i'm not a big fan of this dripper it's one of those where you got to squeeze down really hard and you can't hardly fill the whole glass tube not a huge fan of that but it's not really a big deal now this is a dripper's e-juice. I'm sure you can put this in a sub-ohm tank or something of that nature, but this is made for dripping. So if you're not really a dripper, this might not be the juice for you. And again, it only comes in 0, 3, and 6 milligram nicotine, which for me isn't really a big issue. I vape 3 milligram, but like I said, it's a, it's, it's a dripper's dream, all right? So for the milkman, it's $17.95. I feel like it's a really fair price for a 30 mil. It's definitely a good juice if you drip. If you don't drip, it might not be quite there for you. But it's a very, very clean, crisp tasting juice. It just tastes fresh. And I don't really know how to describe that. But if you've ever had a juice where you feel like, man, this just tastes so clean and crisp and fresh, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. And although the flavor is very dense and very deep notes, it's still a very, very clean, crisp vape. And I like that. I love the fact that it's 99% VG. I feel like a lot of juice companies out there are really starting to make high VG juice. They feel as if they're alienating a certain area of the market, i.e. the drippers and the hobbyists, when they only put out 50 50 and i really respect companies that make high vg juice for the people that may have pg type allergies or are sensitive to pg and and just for the drippers themselves i really respect that so like i said i'll post a link in the description to where you can get the milkman my overall thoughts is really good juice i'm really glad i bought it if you like those milky sweet desserty type flavors i'm pretty sure you're going to really like this juice so without further ado let's quickly talk about the ipv4 so again guys this is just my first impression of the ipv4 i don't have any notes written down I, i'm just doing this off the cuff i kind of just want to talk about a few things i've seen so far we're not going to dive down or anything I'm just going to kind of show you the mod and show you some of the things that I like about it. So here's the IPv4. It's really clean. Um, I don't like up here. There's some separation. Something I don't like about it. And of course they had to put this little port for charging, which I'm never going to use. I don't know why they put it there. And I think that's part of the reason that they had to separate this right here and to, to adapt to this port and stuff. So... I'm not a big fan of that. On the other side though, you have a mirrored type finish and within here you have your screen. I don't mind the mirror finish. I can kind of look at it, kind of check my teeth, 
make sure my hair is straight. It doesn't really bother me that much, guys. At the bottom, you have your venting holes in case of a catastrophic battery failure. You have a USB port for the updates, and hopefully they will update this to maybe 150 watts. Right now, it's a 100-watt device from Pioneer for you. I like the battery ports. I think it's really nice and sleek. Comes straight off. Nice and easy. Slips on with magnets. Just a really nice device. I'm actually really digging it so far. Um, I know that some people had some beefs with it and there's a few little things that I'm not really wild about. But before I do a full review on it, and again, this was just a really a quick first look. I just got this device this afternoon in the mail and just thought I'd bring it into this video and show you guys. But before I do a full review on the IPv4, I'm going to get some nickel wire. I'm going to really test out the temp control. I'm going to spend some time with this and expect to see a review on the IPv4 coming here within maybe a week or two. But overall so far, I'm actually really digging it. So there's the review for you guys today. Just thought I'd do a quick video. Again, drop a comment. Let me know how you like the new iPad Air 2 filming. I hope it's somewhat better. And I just appreciate you guys watching these videos. Again, I'm sorry that it took so long for me to put another video out. Just some technical difficulties and, and just a busy schedule. But we're getting back on track. I have some cool things to review. I'm also going to be doing a review on the Limitless Sleeve Mod. That's coming soon. So just stay tuned. Um, below, I will have my email, which is the best way to get a hold of me. Feel no hesitation in contacting me, asking questions, or if you just want to chat. If you have a product for me to review, that's the best way to get a hold of me. Also, the rest of my social media information will be in the description. And as always, guys, much love. Peace out. Keep your cotton wet. Sarge party.